Today's ICD-10 quick coding tip focuses on what you need to know about coding asthma in a patient who also has COPD. My name is Claire and I'm an inpatient coding auditor. In my coding tips and tricks videos, you'll discover valuable insights to help sharpen your medical coding skills and code with confidence. If that sounds like something that would be helpful to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I release new content. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and asthma are both respiratory diseases and share some similarities, but they are separate distinct conditions. It is possible for a patient to be diagnosed with both COPD and asthma. Although they are separate conditions, there are specific scenarios where only the COPD code is used and other instances where both the asthma and COPD codes are assigned together. In ICD-10, asthma in a patient with coexisting COPD is classified under category J44, other chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This is indicated by the inclusion note found at category J44, which states that this category includes asthma with COPD. When a patient is diagnosed with both asthma and COPD, the appropriate code to assign is J4489, other specified chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. These two conditions are linked in the alphabetic index by the term with, indicating that they should be coded as related. To find this code in the alphabetic index, begin with the main term asthma, followed by the subterm with, and then the subterm chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, which leads to code J4489. Category J44 includes an instructional note that directs the coder to also assign a code for the specific type of asthma if applicable. This means that if the specific type of asthma is documented, an additional code should be assigned. However, it is important to understand that if the specific type of asthma is not specified, code J45909, unspecified asthma uncomplicated, should not be assigned separately, as this code does not describe a specific type of asthma. Examples of specific types of asthma include mild intermittent asthma, mild, moderate, or severe persistent asthma, exercise-induced asthma, and cough variant asthma. Although we do not assign code J45909, unspecified asthma, uncomplicated, with a COPD code from category J44, there are exceptions for codes J45901, unspecified asthma with acute exacerbation, and code J45902, unspecified asthma with status asthmaticus. These codes can be used when a patient with COPD is experiencing an acute exacerbation of asthma or status asthmaticus, even if the specific type of asthma is unknown. This exception is made because while these codes do not specify the type of asthma, they do provide additional specificity indicating that the asthma is currently in an acute exacerbation or status asthmaticus. Let's take a look at some examples. The patient has been diagnosed with both asthma and COPD. According to the alphabetic index, we assign code J4489 to capture asthma with COPD. Additionally, we refer to the instructional note in the tabular, which directs us to code the specific type of asthma if applicable. In this case, since the specific type of asthma is not specified, an additional code is not necessary, and we should only assign the J44 code to capture both conditions. In this next case, the patient has been diagnosed with both mild intermittent asthma and COPD. According to the alphabetic index, we assign code J4489 to capture asthma with COPD. Additionally, we refer to the instructional note in the tabular, which directs us to code the specific type of asthma. In this case, since the type of asthma was identified as mild intermittent asthma, an additional code for the specific type of asthma is assigned. In this last example, the patient has been diagnosed with an asthma exacerbation and COPD. According to the alphabetic index, we assign code J4489 to capture asthma with COPD. Additionally, we refer to the instructional note in the tabular, which directs us to code the specific type of asthma. 
In this case, the type of asthma was not identified. However, we do have documentation of an acute exacerbation. Although we do not know the specific type of asthma, we will assign the code for the unspecified asthma exacerbation as an additional code in order to provide additional specificity. So that's it for today's quick tip. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if there's any topics that you would like me to cover in the future, just leave a comment below and I'll add them to my list. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy coding.